this is Steve Feaster with BCX Bootcamp, and I want to give you a glute and leg workout that's going to focus on some really hard to hit areas. This is going to help tone and tighten your gluteals as well as tone the legs. Now I've put together three couplets, so it's six exercises done in a precise manner that's really going to focus on the legs and the glutes. The first couplet we're going to do together is going to be step back lunges and lunge kicks. The step back lunges are going to be weighted, so I'm just using two eight pounds. You feel free to use whatever you want. We're going to go for 12 repetitions. Step back lunges, my center of gravity doesn't move. I stay right over that forward leg and I just tap. All the way down, all the way up. I'm going for 12 repetitions. So inherently, that's not that tough. It's the next move that makes it rather rough. Again, it's a gluteal focus, so don't step back. Work on getting down. This front leg carries all of my weight. Let's get about four more. Three, two, one, leave the weights, immediately go to lunge kicks, down and up. I'm still using the same leg. Again, it's a gluteal focus. Three, 12 and 12. After the 12 and 12, we can move to the other leg. The next couple is gonna be curtsies, but weighted curtsies, followed by stomps. This one's really gonna get those deep fibers of the glutes. Let's start off with one foot behind the other. The focus is gonna be this front straight leg. Keeping your back straight, you bend down, tap the weight, and tap your foot. 12 reps. It's sort of like a straight leg deadlift. Straight down and back, making sure not to bend your back. I'm bending from the hip. All my weight is on this front leg on the heel. 12 repetitions of weighted curtsy. After 12 repetitions, we move straight into stomps. Again, trying to get the focus on that front leg and the glutes. Hands are flat, this is really important. The foot needs to be in line with the hands. I'm up, my bottom drops, I come up, this heel touches and I drop my bottom again. It looks simple, but after 12 reps of curtsies and 12 reps of stomps, it's pretty tough. And there's no question of where our focus is. Get that bottom down here, 12 reps. As soon as we're done, we're gonna to go to the other leg. The next couplet is sumo squats followed by skaters. I'm gonna use a 25 pound kettlebell, but again, the focus is still glute and quad, but since we're doing a sumo squat, we're gonna involve the inner thigh as well. 25 pounds, get your legs in a good sumo position, heels are in, toes are out, and I push through my heels. Don't bend at the hips, bend at the knees, straight up and down. Push your knees out as you go. Keep those shoulders rolled back. So we're doing 12 sumo squats followed by 12 body weight skaters. Now skaters back and forth is one repetition. We're doing 12. The important thing with the skater is that this back foot stays unweighted and you bend from the hips. After that, you pop up as you jump. That's one, two, three, nice and light. Four, make sure you come up. Five, all the way to 12 and 12. I'd like to try to get through three rounds of this, doing both legs. Now this last couplet is symmetrical. We don't have to do both sides. Inherently, sumo squats and skaters, you're getting both sides already. Whether you're a guy or a girl, we all want good looking glutes. Now, not only are glutes important for good form, good aesthetics, good looks, but they also aid a lot in our activities of daily living and our functional core strength. So very important exercises, don't leave them out.